Hello everyone, my name is Elle and welcome to a haul. I do not do hauls very often. I rarely, rarely do them, but I wanted to do one in this case because I've accumulated a lot of makeup in the last couple of months and I wanted to share some of these things with you guys. I'm also planning on doing some makeup baskets soon, so I wanted to share some of these things and see if there was anything in particular you wanted to hear more about. That way I can throw it into a monthly rotation so I can play with it a little bit more, get a little bit more custom with it so I can talk about it more. Some of these things I've used a lot and some of these things I haven't touched that much. And there's a combination of products here. There's a lot of stuff I bought myself. There are a lot of things here from my sister, things that she decluttered and passed on to me. And there are some gifts, including just a couple of PR things just to. This is a collective haul, meaning it's coming from a lot of different sources. It's also a bit of a selective haul because if I showed every single item I got over the last four and a half months, we would be here all day. So this is uh, still a lot of stuff and it's by no means showing off. Um, I just want to put that out there and if you don't like hauls, I don't know why you clicked on this to begin with because it's very clearly a haul. So I'm just going to be going through the products category by category. So I thought I would start with a couple of miscellaneous things. I apologize for my voice if it sounds a little bit weird. I was talking earlier today, no problem. I don't know where this came from. Anyway, the first thing I have here is actually a fragrance. This is the Replica Beach Walk fragrance. Um, it's actually a dry body oil, not the actual perfume. This is something that was passed on to me from my sister. I really love the Beach Walk fragrance. I've mentioned it many times if you happen to watch my hashtag 365 days of sample series. This is going to be my summer scent. I also love that it's a body oil and it's pretty much full. So I feel like I'll be very motivated to use this this summer. Um, the fragrance description says sun-kissed salty skin and it truly is like it's kind of hard to describe this fragrance. I feel like the replica fragrances in general are supposed to be fragrances that encourage a little bit of nostalgia and for me it definitely does. It makes me think of a particular summer memory and it just smells a little sweet but it also smells a little bit like sunscreen but in a good way not in a weird way. It's just so pleasant and light and it just it just is like summer in a bottle so I'm very excited to use this more. The next miscellaneous thing, this is from MAC. This is the Charged Water Charcoal Spray. So instead of kind of going through each thing and saying like, I bought this, so-and-so gave me this, I might start saying gifted and just so you know it wasn't like PR gifted, I'll specify the things that actually came from a brand as opposed to from people. Um, but this is supposed to be something that you can use to rehydrate your face. It sounds so gimmicky, like all these primer waters, I love them. I don't know what it is about them, it's just something about having fancy water in a bottle that I like to spray on myself. It says you can use this to refresh your makeup and to avoid the eye area, which kind of makes sense. So I haven't used this that much, I'm not really sure if it really accomplishes much of anything, but I feel like in the summertime it'll be great. I really love sort of these facial sprays in the summertime when it's crazy hot, if it ever happens to happen here, because <laughs> we are still living in winter. Moving on to makeup now, I have a product from Becca. This was also handed down to me. This is the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I have not used this much. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I just, from the title, it's you're supposed to use it under your eye area. I haven't done a whole lot of research on stuff like this. I used it a couple of times. It's very smooth and it's a little bit cooling. So I feel like that's it's probably more of a gimmicky thing than anything else, but I'd have to put this to the test to know a little bit more about it. A little while ago now, I helped a subscriber get a palette she'd been looking for that was available in Canada and not in the US. And she ended up sending me a huge package of drugstore makeup, which was incredible. Um, totally not necessary, by the way. I was not asking for anything in return for sending her this palette that she actually paid for. So. I wasn't expecting her to send me anything, but I'm very, very grateful, and there, I have a bunch of the stuff that she sent me here. Some of the stuff I don't think made it into my 
collective haul pile because it already found its home in my collection and sometimes I can't remember just looking at something if I bought it if I got it from somebody else sometimes I have to actually have it in my hand and be thinking about it and anyway so thank you Susie uh, this is the physicians formula spotlight illuminating primer so I've used this a couple of times I do find that it emphasizes my pores like in this area when I use it but it is a very nice illuminating primer when I use it on other spots of my face I definitely love a glowy dewy look and this primer has been really nice so far but again I've only used it a couple of times moving on now to foundation this one was passed on to me this is a Chanel foundation this is sublimage it is the shade 12 beige rose and it matches me really well I used it in a get ready with me not that long ago this is such a good foundation I don't think I would ever purchase it for myself because of the price tag but I have really liked using it I've been using it almost daily it's kind of ridiculous. I feel so weird sometimes. I'm like, this is such an expensive product. It's not something I would ever have picked out for myself, but I love it. So I, it, it feels very much like a treat yourself kind of thing, even though I didn't actually treat myself to it. Maybe that's why I can enjoy it a little bit more. Um, this one was a gift, Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Foundation um, Brightening Complex for all skin types. This is the shade LC1, and this is a pretty good color match for me. I wasn't sure about the packaging at first. Reminds me of um, the Tarte Shape Tape thing. That's the only other time I've seen a foundation package like this. I don't have the Shape Tape foundation, but just from looking at it. But this is such a good foundation. It's a hint too dark for me, but not anything that I can't make work for me, especially once I factor in other products like concealer and and powders and stuff so it it's so beautiful and in real life I feel like it gives my skin that sort of flawless finish so I'm very very happy with that I can see myself repurchasing that foundation for sure and speaking of repurchasing foundations I actually repurchased two of my holy grail foundations from MAC the mineralize moisture foundation and the studio water weight foundation both are in the shade NW13 my perfect match this is the best dewy foundation I have ever found. I got a sample of it last year. As soon as I finished the sample, I had to buy the full size. I just fell completely in love with the finish of this. It just, there's nothing I've tried like it. No combination of products has made my skin so dewy, which is why I had to repurchase that foundation. I really like the Studio Water Weight Foundation because it's very lightweight and it's just a different texture than the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, which is my favorite foundation I think of all time um but I just liked the way that it feels it feels different it's lightweight and this is like my summer foundation so getting into a little bit of a warmer weather I want to be using lighter foundations so that's how I justified that one and I do have a drugstore foundation this is the L'Oreal True Match I got the shade C1 Alabaster a little too dark for me as well um, but very very close to matching me you know it's not bad I wanted to try it because so many people were recommending L'Oreal foundations to me I have two green concealers I bought this one from Joe Fresh which is a Canadian brand here this is just one of those sticks now I'm having a problem with it I can't get it to turn um, but it works okay not great I just wanted to try some Joe Fresh stuff because I never hear people talk about it probably because it's a Canadian brand and then passed on to me this YSL one this is the Touche Claude neutralizer color corrector this is amazing I hate that I love it so much but it works so incredibly well I have a little bit of redness on my forehead from psoriasis I have a tiny bit of acne scarring that's just hanging around that just won't go away and this works really well covering this completely you can't see it at all so I really don't want to get into having to purchase that because it's so expensive but I do like it it's so effective and it's it's hard to to go away from something that ends up working so well it's like you just want to stick with what you know works um, I have a powder from Givenchy, so this is PR. Um, Givenchy contacted me and liked my style and wanted to send me some stuff and I said yes, this is from a while ago now. Um, I haven't talked about this stuff much. I did 
talk about it a little while back. I did a get ready with me that was like almost all orange and I talked about this back then. Um, this is a four in one. It's harmony. So it's got these different colors in there. Um, the packaging is beautiful. Of course it is. It's, it's going to be beautiful. I think all this like luxury designer products are all beautiful. So this is a very light light color correcting powder. There's a light purple, a darker purple, a green and a blue. It's very like pastel. You mix them together to sort of color correct. And I like the way that it feels on my skin. Um, it, it doesn't seem to translate very well on camera. I had some people commenting that I looked like a little greenish bluish. Um, maybe it's just because I got a little bit too much of that powder and I didn't mix it together. But in real life, I feel like it really neutralizes everything, especially if a foundation is not quite the right shade for me. It just seems to make it look a little bit more realistic and then my skin looks really good. So I've been enjoying using that. I'm very grateful. Thank you Givenchy for sending me that. Um, I have a couple of bronzer things. This is really overwhelming and this is why I needed to tackle this. Like I talked about the state of my makeup collection before and how it was a little bit overwhelming and it's true because it's a lot of stuff and it's stuff that I'm glad I have because it's there's so much good stuff here but there's just so much stuff period. Um, I have a couple of contoury bronzer things. Um, I have this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, Easy Contour. So this is like a liquid contour. It's got the little sponge on the end. So you can you twist the container and then you can squeeze products up into the sponge. If you guys have seen the, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer stuff, that's pretty much what this is like. I really like this. I've been using this a lot for contouring. I've been doing extra steps. I have the products now, so I'm like, I might as well do it. Um, I will use this for nose contouring when I'm filming. I use this as my under layer for filming now because I feel like I have it, why not? It blends out so well. So I will use this here underneath my chin and sometimes on my forehead, just a little bit, just to balance everything out and on my nose and I hate that I love it. Again, it's one of those things. Um, it was passed on to me, so it's not something that I probably would have ever thought to purchase for myself. Another thing that was passed on to me is the Anastasia Contour Stick. So I can't really use this for contouring my nose. I've tried. I don't find it blends out that well, but I like using it just on my cheek area. She also sent me a Kevin Aquin bronzer. This is the Neo Bronzer in Capri. It's a cool pink. So it says that this is a unique highlighter, blush, and bronzer in one. And so it has a lovely gradient in here. I like to swirl it together, focusing more on this area, the, the brown and the pink. And it just gives this gorgeous, realistic, bronzy glow. It's really beautiful. I have a couple of blushes um, and a blush palette. So this is a gift from Susie. This is one of the Physician Formula Butter Blushes. This is Vintage Rouge and this is beautiful. I have a couple of the other um, Physician Formula Butter Blushes and I really love them. I know there was a lot of criticism because they're very light, um, but that's why I like them because for me the pigmentation is perfect for just an everyday blush. This one was passed on to me. This is a Wet n Wild Ombre Blush. I don't see a name on the packaging unfortunately, but it's just like a light pink. Love this one as well. I've been wearing this one a lot daily. I'm glad I'm not trying to pan a blush. Um, I also really love this Milani one. This is Pink Play, the color harmony. Like sort of similar to the Wet n Wild in that there's different shades of pink in here. I've been wearing this one a lot in videos recently because I find that it just translates really well on camera. So if you are wondering what I've been wearing as a blush in the last couple of videos, it's usually this. Um, and the last thing I have is a blush palette and this is from Juvia's Place. Uh, I haven't talked about my Juvia's Place experience because it was not a good experience. It was a horrific shipping nightmare. Um, but I got an eyeshadow palette which I'll talk about when I take it to the eyeshadows and then I got the blush palette. This is the Saharan blush. I got volume one because I wanted to have something to play around with for more editorial looks. I also thought I could use these as eyeshadow as well so I thought that I could just 
do double duty with it as opposed to the volume 2 blush set which is supposed to be for fairer skin um, I just seem so typical to what I already had I wanted to do so to use something different so I haven't used this that much I've used it a little bit um, mostly like this pink color right here because it's so vibrant um, but just I, I love playing with makeup so when I was ordering from there I wanted to get something that would be different highlighters so I also have the Charlotte Tilbury beauty light wand easy highlighter exact same thing as the contour version this is really pretty I like using this as a base sometimes especially with the nose contour just to clean everything up I find that it works really well at least for me I find it's sometimes difficult to get the nose contour thing right without it make looking muddy but I've been trying I've been trying to improve and get better just because I've had so many complaints about people saying that like my features look so flat on camera so I've been trying to bring a little bit more definition back um, and that one was passed on to me as well. Um, this is another gift. This is Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. This is Pearl. Oh my god. I'm a highlighter junkie. There's a lot of highlighters here. And I think if, if, if any category I have besides eyeshadow, the thing that I would never want to really declutter is highlighters just because I love them so much. I get so much joy from highlighters. So this is a very white highlighter, as you can tell, very white, um, but it's absolutely beautiful when it comes to applying on the skin. It's a little bit glittery. Um, for me, I love that though. I love a good glittery highlighter. When, that's one thing I look for in reviews. Um, I like negative reviews about glittery highlighters because usually the emphasis is on how glittery it is and I'm like, I need that. I need that because I just want to have a face full of glitter. So this is one of my favorite things. Another gifted highlighter. This is Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in White Raven from their uh, recent collection. This has a little skull print on it. This is a very beautiful duochromatic highlighter. I just love looking at it. I don't even want to use it because I love that little skull print in there. It's horrible. I know I should just use stuff if I like it, but I just like looking at it. It makes me happy because I like skulls. Uh, another thing gifted to me, a Milani highlighter. This is Afterglow Strobe Light. This is a little bit too dark for me, but I like using it anyway. I like to mix my highlighter, so I'll use um, the Physicians Formula Light Highlighter and mix it a little bit with this one sometimes or just Put it on different spots of my face. I've used this as a highlighter on my eyes as well. This one was passed on to me. This is a little Becca highlighter. This is one of the light chasers. This is Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. Another highlighter that's a little bit too dark for me. Uh, sometimes it can be a look and sometimes I will mix it with other things. Another thing passed on to me, this is Kevin Aqua. This is the Neo Limelight Ibiza highlighter. This is an ombre highlighter from white to purple. Beautiful. I blessed it over this for such a long time and I'm very, very happy that it didn't work for my sister and she gave it to me. I recently bought this guy from NARS. This is one of the new formulations of their highlighters. I got the shade Albatross. Again, a very light highlighter. Um, I did a video a little while ago about my white whale makeup wish list about products that I hadn't found the right one yet. And it just so happened at that time, um, Mariah Leonard came out with a video about highlighters um, that gave you that sort of natural wet looking glow, which is what I was looking for in that video. And so many people recommended her video and I love her anyway. So I watched her video and the one she recommended that worked for her, I just thought were different skin tones. Um, I really liked it, how it looked on her and I really liked that it was a little bit more golden, but I thought for me, this one will probably be a little bit better and it is. This is exactly what I wanted. I also have really wanted Albatross for the longest time. So the thing with this is that like you almost can't see it until it catches the light, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, it's subtle, but it's beautiful. And I wanted this for the name for so many years now. I'm horrible, but there's an instrumental Fleetwood Mac song called Albatross. And I had been resisting buying this and now with this new formulation, I'm so glad I have it because it's so good. This is going to be such a long video because there's so many things. I picked up the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter Palette. Um, I really wanted this. I talked about it. So many people were like, just treat yourself, girl. And I did. Maybe a little too much, but this is a beautiful highlighter palette that I love using it. It's very glittery and metallic. 
just the things that I like. Passed on to me a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. This is the Lustrous Shadow Palette. Um, so it has 12 shadows in here from their singles. And it's a kind of boring arrangement of shadows. Um, I've used this a few times. I really like this golden coppery shade to no surprise to anybody. Um, sometimes I can be very basic and I'm just like, give me that golden copper shadow in a nude lip. Please let me do it. I bought the Urban Decay Back Top Palette. This sucks. The eyeshadows are, are horrible. Some of the worst eyeshadows I've ever used. And this is someone who stands for Urban Decay hard. These suck. Um, the blushes and highlighters are great though. I really like mixing them together for like a custom shimmery blush. That's the reason why I've hung on to this because I love that side so much. Um, the eyeshadows are just the worst. I picked up a Pat McGrath palette. This is one of my treat yourself things. I used some of my tax dollars, my tax refund for this. Um, this is La Vie and Rose. I've used this a few times now. You've probably seen me use this on camera like that purple. This is a beautiful palette and I have zero regrets. The formula is unlike anything I've ever used. I know people always say that, but I was shocked when I used it because it was just unbelievable. I bought the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place, which I've also used a few times. Look at the size of these pans and these colors are unbelievable. Oh my God, they blend so well together. Some of them don't blend so well with some other shadows. I've had some issues with them, um, but these like mattes are beautiful. I wore this combination in a video not that long ago with a little bit of gold accent glitter. I think it's really good. I don't think I will order from Juvia's Place directly anymore because of my last experience, um, but if they ever get sold somewhere else, I can definitely see myself buying like all of the palettes. I just like makeup. Um, this one was passed on to me. This is Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. So kind of your standard layout of colors, although it's so beautiful. I love my warm eyeshadows. And again, right in the center there is what my dreams are made of. Just, I wanna live in that kind of color. I just love it. I love this kind of color scheme so much. It's just, it is what I live for to sound like every stereotypical beauty guru ever. I have a Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette that was passed on to me. And this is Scandalust. This is another beautiful color scheme, pretty basic, but it's so good. And the shadows are really good. They are very much like work appropriate shadows. There's not a lot of pigmentation there compared to something like the, the Pat McGrath, which is like pow pigment. I wore that shadow, the purple one, every time I wear it, my son looks at me and he just smiles the biggest smile. And he's like, mom's eyes are purple. <laughs> he just loves it so much. It makes me love it more. Um, but this, this is very wearable. This is a very good at the office kind of eyeshadow palette and there's actually a shadow in here called At The Office, this second one here. Um, so I haven't played with it that much because I've been panning the Mario palette and using other things, um, but I really like this pink shade. It's a very wearable pink. I, you can just get that hint of pink with your look. It's not overpowering. So I'm glad I got to try the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow formula because it's pretty good. I also treated myself to a Viseart eyeshadow palette. I've mentioned this a few times. This is Editorial Brights. I've been lusting after this forever and I finally bought it and no regrets. It's so good. It definitely lives up to the hype. I can do so much with these, with these shadows. Um, I haven't really done a look with just these alone. I usually incorporate these shadows with other ones and that means that I can create a lot of different looks because these shadows are just so versatile. They do stain my lids though. Every single one I've used has stained my lids and it's been a little bit of a pain to remove it. So that's been like the one downside with the palette. Um, the next and last eyeshadow palette is the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. The palette I've heard people say, like, Elle would never buy that. She would never buy Natasha Denona. Surprise. I did, and I loved this palette more than I've loved many things. Um, I have used this so much. It's crazy. And I use these matte shades with the Mario palette constantly. These things just, they work so well together. 
it's so good. I want to do a full review with this palette. I had it all ready to go and then I sort of second guessed myself. There's been so many negative reviews about this palette, but I just love it so much. I just really enjoy using it. It's one of those things that just like the packaging alone is so cheerful. The product is so good. I love those matte shadows, those neutral shadows just work so well and blend so easily. And you know, you always hear that phrase, um, you know, for that price, they better blend themselves and those shadows practically do, so. I can't say enough good things about that eyeshadow palette, but don't just go running out and buying it like a $160 eyeshadow palette based off of me alone. Please do not do that. I do not want to hear from people who said that they bought that palette because I like it. Oh my goodness. That's the danger sometimes with talking about things like that. Like you do not need that palette. You're going to be fine. You can live your life. It's okay. Um, I have a couple of lip liners that were passed on to me. These are all from MAC. I have Spice, Fruit Cocktail, Whirl, Edge to Edge, and Soar. Um, I am using Spice right now, um, layered with a MAC lipstick, which I'll mention in a minute. Um, I have used Whirl, but I have not used Soar, Edge to Edge, or Fruit Cocktail yet but I do have a lot of experience using the MAC lip pencils. I have quite a few of them and I really like using them. So I don't doubt that I will like these ones as well. All right, we have lip products and then some glitter. This was passed on to me. This is from Clarins. It's the Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I've been using this a lot. It's super shiny and really moisturizes my lips. I bought this MAC Dazzle Glass in Goldie Rocks. This is a beautiful layering lip product. This light yellow, lots of glitter. I also bought this guy from MAC. This is one of the Grand Illusion liquid lip colors. This is an electric rainbow. I've worn this a few times. Um, you would have seen it in my Orange Get Ready With Me, which I mentioned earlier when I was talking about uh, the Givenchy stuff. I used this and I paired it with Another Givenchy thing that was PR. This is a lipstick. This is Mandarin Bolero. I really love this lipstick formula. This is an orange lipstick, which I normally would not be crazy about, but I love orange. I just, I like orange eyeshadow. I like orange lipstick, and I really like this lipstick formula. I know it was given to me as PR, but I do really like it, and I want to buy more. It is expensive, which is why I haven't bought it now, and I also have so many lip products that I don't need to buy new things. I need to use stuff up. I have two lipsticks that I got when I back to MAC stuff. So if you happen to follow along with my back to MAC project pan, I got this one really me, which is a beautiful cool toned lipstick, which is what I really wanted because I didn't have anything quite like that. And then I picked up on and on, which is a very unique lipstick. It's like purple with a little bit of a duochromatic finish to it. This is a frost. I got it because it's different. I don't have anything like it and I kept going back to it in the store. To finish this off, why not with some glitter? There's a lot of MAC stuff here. I bought some MAC glitter. I'm, this isn't glitter. This is the mixing medium though. This is great. I love this stuff for adhering the glitter. So I have four go big or go home of the new MAC glitter. So I'm wearing the stars right now. I've worn the stars before. I think it's so beautiful. These are not eye safe. I will say that. I'm, I'm not advocating you put them anywhere near your eyes. If you do, exercise caution. I definitely am very cautious when I use large chunky glitter around my eye area, even if it's not directly like on my eyelid or whatever, I, tr I try to be very careful because I know it's not meant for the eye area. Just like the hearts that I got, which I've also used around my eye area. <laughs> be cautious, these are pretty. I got them because they're cool and I like different things. Um, I also got two eye safe glitters. Um, I got gold hologram, which I used in my video last Sunday, hashtag 365 days of samples in my inner corner. Um, that was fun. And I have not used this one yet. This is Iridescent Sage. I got it because it's green glitter and I don't have anything like this and I thought this would be fun to play with. I just haven't gotten around to playing with it. Now I'm looking at it next to the Visit Viseart Editorial Brights palette and I'm looking at that color up in the corner and I'm looking at this glitter and I'm like, something needs to happen here. <laughs> I need to do some look with that glitter. 
Anyway, that is everything for my crazy, long, ridiculous collective haul, selective haul, however you want to phrase it. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. If there's anything you would like to see me use a little bit more, play with a little bit more um, for when I do my makeup baskets, because I'm hoping to start those really soon, because I have some sort of a plan now. I want to do my makeup baskets. I want to declutter a little bit and then dive head first back into some project panning once I have some serious decluttering done, which really needs to happen, but I need to use stuff up before I declutter, so I declutter smartly. Uh, so anyway, that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you, and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.